on the back of the sneakers. Hank. Obviously, this club playing with a purpose tonight. Of course, Doug Overton today and Lionel spoke to us and spoke to the media. We talked to them later. It was so important to them to win the game. Basketball has meant so much to them as well as Hank and has given them a chance to function and contribute to society. So, a lot of love out there. The sender with the drive leads it down low. Jenkins gets a quick bucket. Now here's the press design. Because the 2-2-1, they've been looking to post up. Lionel's not in the middle though. Now, now they get him in there. They skip it ahead. Good look for Simmons in the paint. He brings it back out to Woods. Pretty good recovery by the guards. Four-point game. Fordham needs two possessions. Penetration Woods. He got hit on the way in. McClendon will pick up the foul. Anytime you dip behind, Mike. John Prelo will come back in. McClendon will go out. Randy Woods at the free throw line. Now, Porter's going to have to score quickly. Oh, we get a break there. And they got to get to the foul line. So dribble penetration and dump it low to the two big guys and let them do some things. Descender looks to take it himself. Runner, no, but he was hit on the way through. I think it may be Woods on the ride. <laughs> yeah, well, they may give it a hurt as well, but th that's what they need. They've got to get to the line. Now it gives them a chance without a timeout. You can see Nick setting up his press now, and they've got to gamble a little bit on this pressure. They've been very reluctant. That 2-2-1, two -two they've been just forcing the offense to slow it down. Now they've got to go for it. The, the freshman from New Orleans, Look at that free throw shooting tonight, 17 of 18. The freshman from New Orleans, though, taking it right into traffic. Confident guy here with sure the, the line. They got pretty good speed at four spots now. Leaving O'Sullivan in the back to work. So they might come up with something. LaSalle, obviously, on that timeout by Speedy, set up a zone offense for the full court pressure. Who missing the free throw. Doesn't help the cause. They double up and a foul sent for Jenkins on Lionel Simmons. Well, the only thing is he stopped the clock, which certainly doesn't hurt at this point. But a guy that's pretty good on the free throw line. Not major league, but 63. That's four personal fouls on Sanford Jenkins. Prelo will go to the bench, and McClendon has come back in, and Lionel Simmons takes his 22 points to the line. Now, you look at numbers, and uh, it doesn't tell what a guy does late in the game. And this major leaguer can back him down with the best of the pressure situation. See the black strike on the shoulder for Hank Gathers. And two big free throws for Lionel Simmons. Again, get it up quickly. Put some pressure on the D. Turn the corner and get it to the box. It's five. Fordham needs a three and a two. They find McClendon. Leans in. Won't get the two. Jenkins tried to come hard for the rebound. Gets it off the floor. Spins. Can't hit off the glass. Tipped out of bounds. Fordham gets it back with 32 seconds to go. Not out of it yet. What a will right there. Jenkins, Lopez, really aggressive going after it. And Simmons almost had it control, but just great pressure by that. McClendon looking, looking, looking. <laughs> Overton into Mickey Crowley. They had an open lane, too. Good cut. Sanford wide open. In the corner, McClendon. Get the three, gets his own rebound, can't kiss the two. Look at these kids go after. Overton's got the rebound, is fouled by Jenkins, who's out of the game. Opportunities, not able to knock him down, but great effort by Fordham. Well, check that. They give the foul to McClendon, his third, so Sanford Jenkins can stay on the floor. 
And right now Speedy trying to collect his troops. Signals for the timeout, Mike. 21 seconds left to go. 21.6 to be exact. 66, 61. LaSalle by five. Two free throws to get him back in the odd number. Let's listen up. his players will make the free throws and again they make them here and they really put Fordham in a serious hole. Nick McCarchick looking at that scoreboard. Fordham with one timeout left a foul none but and again LaSalle doesn't particularly want to stop this clock. That was Joe Mahalik saying we're quicker make some good cuts and that obviously they're going to throw the home run pass if Fordham matches up when LaSalle inbounds it if it's there. Overton. Nobody on the line, Mike, excuse me, and in the 55, I think is a half-court defense, not the full-court pressure. It is six right now. And Speedy, a seer, right? At least for the first one here. Well, so much for... Fordham can it. tie it with a couple of threes. Descend it. Herzog doesn't get it. Simmons coming up big for the rebound. Lionel just camped out to the left of the hoop and then went after it. Well, when you have a guy like that, Michael, he's going to just come up with the big plays. We call the block shot, a couple of big rebounds. Just doesn't give the opponent a lot of opportunities. All right, stay with us here. Immediately following this game, a special one-hour edition of SportsCenter. Chris Berman and Dan Patrick will be by. An update on all surrounding the tragic death of Hank Gathers. NCAA ruling on Maryland, all scores and highlights, who's in the tourney, who's not. And Lionel Simmons will step to the free throw line. It would appear LaSalle will be 28 and one entering the NCAA. Mike, I think Speedy would be the first guy to tell you that Fordham just came out and played a great game, took it to them. Of course, the emotional down I think forgotten earlier today I just think a terrific Fordham team they've improved immeasurably and LaSalle had to pull out all stops and of course number 22 and added to mention that just put you over the top 18 second half points the same number he had against Fordham the other time they played this year he gets another rebound there's the home run Overton nicely done Basket will count at the buzzer. It is just for the score, though. The LaSalle Explorers and their All-American Lionel Simmons have won their 28th game of the season, their 21st straight win, the longest winning streak in major college basketball right now. Speedy Morris, maybe not a household name, or one of the fine coaches in the country. Grab all of them. You got him? I can't get him up there with that hand. 